everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome today's video i'm going to be doing a highly requested video which is my everyday makeup look um i actually didn't think that many people would want to see this but my everyday makeup basically for times when i'm going out with friends uh feeling a bit cute going to the shops having a bad skin day i thought it's pop some makeup on. It is super light, uh, takes barely any time to do and it looks like it's a full glam so <laughs> yeah! So if you guys would like to see how I create this look then just keep on watching! Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, I will pop that right here because I do post them frequently and I want you guys to keep updated on my life. So first off, I'm just going to go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Super Light Primer. And I'm just going to be applying this all over my face. I'm just going to go in with my eyebrows. Um, at the moment, I have ran out of eyebrow powder. So I'm just going to be going in with a amazing substitute that I came up with. The Kylie Bronze Palette. And I'm just using the shade Bronzer. And I'm going to be applying that to my eyebrows. Next up, I'm just going to be carving my eyebrows with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Light Medium. Next up for eyes, I'm just going to go in with the Leftover Concealer and just pat that over my eyes with my Morphe M173 brush. Have that concealer as a base for my eyeshadow. Now, as this is a everyday makeup look, I don't go heavy at all on the eyes. I just basically do some bronzer and just put that in my crease. So I'm just going in with my Smashbox uh, contour palette. Oh my god, this is so empty. I'm just going in with the middle shade right here and just placing that in the crease of my eye. Next up, I'm just going in with my Fenty Beauty foundation and I'm basically just going to pump that into my face like this. And I'm going to be blending that out with my Morphe M439 brush. So recently I've just started using a brush for my foundation and I'm kind of confused why I never did this before. I feel like a lot of the product is wasted through using a beauty blender and I always heard people talk about it but I didn't really think that it was a big deal until I started using a brush. Next up I'm just going in with the Born This Way concealer again and I'm just going to be applying that underneath my eyes. And just blending that out with my Morphe beauty blender. To set my under eyes, I'm just going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm just going to be using my Morphe E48 brush. And I'm just going to be ah, getting some powder and just applying that underneath my eye. And letting that sit. Then I'm going to be setting the rest of my face. Now that I've let my under eye sit for a while, I'm just going to be patting that off. Next up, we're just going to go in with contouring and I'm just going to be using my Too Faced bronzer in deep tan and I'm just going to be applying that to my forehead, my jawline, my cheekbones, and just my chin. For blush, I'm just going in with my Morphe E48 brush. And this is a eyeshadow that I got from Colourpop. And I basically use this as a blush, applying this to the apples of my cheeks. Ooh. For highlighter, I'm just going in with my Champagne Pop highlighter. Um, I would open it, but I'll try and show you. I broke it when I went on holidays. And I'll be using my Morphe M431 brush. 
Um, so I'm just going to be applying this to the inner corners of my eyes, the tip of my nose. <laughs> Too much. My eyebrows and the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to be highlighting my cheekbones and I'm just going to be using, this is a brush that I got from the KKW um, Contour Palette. It looks something like this. And I basically just use the, the fluffier side and I just apply highlighter to my upper cheekbones. For nose contour, I am just going in with my MAC. I don't know, it's come off, but it just looks like this. And the shade bronze. And just applying this to the sides of my nose. All the way down underneath my nose. I feel like this makes my nose look really like cute. So just pop that under here like that. And then I just do a little bit right there. I'm just going to quickly curl my eyelashes. I just bought this from Kmart. I'm sure you can buy these anywhere. I don't think there's like a type of good eyelash curler. I think they're all the same. So I'm just basically going to be curling my eyelashes. Next up, I'm just going in with my mascara. Outrageous Volume Mascara. And it looks like this from Sephora. And I'm just going to be creating my eyelashes. Um, this is like one of the best mascaras I have ever used. bottom of my eyelashes as well for lips I'm just going in with Too Faced Melted lipstick in the shade Cool Girl and I'm just going to be applying this um, as a liner I'm not going to be putting it on my actual lips just around and doing a bit of overdrawing I feel like this is one of the most important steps for me when I do makeup um, because my bottom lip is much bigger, so just to portion them out. And everybody loves a good overstroll. <laughs> and now we're just going to blend out the lines. For the rest of my lips, I'm just going to be going in with my... Ultra Glossy Lip Gloss from Bretman Rock Times Colourpop. And we're just going to be putting that on the rest of our eyelids. Lately, I have been obsessed with glossy lips. I never used to, only because I thought I had really small lips. And I just felt like, me personally, I couldn't pull off little lips with um, just gloss. I felt like... It was just nothing there. So now that I've discovered overdrawing my lips, um, I can do that. And I am living for it because I just feel like normal lipstick dries out my lips. Like matte lipstick in particular is something that I love wearing. But I just feel like it really dries out my lips. So now that I have this, I get the best of both worlds. So super happy about that. So my face, I'm just going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And I'm just going to apply this and I've heard that you're not supposed to put this stuff near your eyes so I'm just gonna see if I can oh where are my eyes I literally just sprayed my hand I don't even think I sprayed my face just then let that dry so this is the final look. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And um, please comment below any other videos you guys want to see. I can make videos on what you guys want. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.